is the strength of my life. The Christian Praise International Center, CPIC, presents the Apostle Dr. Anoyebua, the presiding bishop of CPIC, on the hour of restoration. Let God be restored to his rightful place in the nation, amongst the people, and in the homes of his people. For as the dwelling of fishes is in fresh water, plants in good soil, so is God the dwelling place of man, created in his image and likeness. For except the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keeps the city, the watchmen watch in vain. We have already mentioned that you can through the spirit of wisdom and spirit of revelation, your understanding will be opened. And we have also discussed that you can pray uh, for God to open your understanding and God will give you the spirit of revelation and spirit of wisdom to open the eye of your understanding. These are very important things you don't have to forget. And um, we also um, gave you the fact that um, through faith, your understanding can be opened. Faith gives you eye to see where natural eyes cannot see. It will make you know things normally you cannot know. Knowledge brings more understanding. Revelation knowledge brings more understanding. It opens your understanding. And it is true um, faith who, which gives you the eye to see, to have revelation, to understand. And that's why the Bible puts it that by faith we understand that the world was framed by God. Um, so when faith comes to you, your understanding gets open. And uh, I mentioned that uh, it, faith has eyes to see afar off. Abraham had eyes to see even his city afar off, far away. He sees far. And brings in more understanding, more revelation knowledge to understand things better. And that is faith. By faith, Abraham had eyes to see far off. So when people are in the world and they can understand God, they can see what we see. They can know what we know. What they need is faith. When they a faith is a spirit they receive faith into their spirit into themselves into their soul the soul will be enlightened will have an understanding enlightened understanding open up understanding to see more understanding to get full knowledge and revelation about what it is. So faith is very, very crucial. And that, that's why the word of God is very important. You cannot understand and bear fruit without the word of God. With the word of God, your understanding can be opened. And why? Because faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. That's why when we are preaching to you, you should always uh, pay particular attention. 
as you pay attention you receive the word then faith comes to you your understanding gets opened and you are naturally going to bear fruit hallelujah people here should not underrate the type the words we give you if they are not words that can help people to bear fruit uh, then this church should not be growing the way it is we have been bearing fruit 10 years you see how we have been growing now we have nearly about 207 assemblies and that is significant it telling you that we are growing in numbers in assemblies in a number of people that are converted that are turning to the ministry that are going to preparing them to go to heaven and that is very important and that there are many whose lives are getting changed very seriously and the church is bearing fruits you see how our ties is growing our offering is growing if we uh, we can see there are churches that have been dead for over 40 years and we are only 10 years but the type of group we have registered in prosperity development they, they have not why because the word that is given to you is a revelation knowledge is wisdom it opens your understanding and you have been bearing fruits you are growing understand this your life is never the same hallelujah don't joke about the words we give you they are really fruitful material and are those who are giving themselves to it your life will never be the same will you say amen and i i went further to discuss with you the various types of faith that will open your understanding i discuss with you those ones are very very important they are crucial uh, you don't joke about them you understand them it's going to make your life change I've seen many Christians who think they have faith but uh, they stay in God's house and refuse to bear fruit or at least get breakthrough where it is best needed in their life and uh, some may be because of faith it, because the faith is not right the faith is not what can produce understanding that can produce fruit that can cause god to break through for you that can cause the power of god to work for you and i've been laboring in this area why because i want everybody to bear fruits everybody to get breakthrough everybody to have the faith needed without faith it is impossible to please god you can't get any good thing from god all heroes in the bible were heroes of faith by faith they did this by faith they broke through this by faith the impossible became possible faith makes you um, act like God with God all things are possible and Jesus declares that everything is possible to them that believe they have faith so faith makes you behave makes you act makes you enjoy the power of God like you are God with God all things are possible and with faith all things are possible you see so when you operate in the realm of the right faith 
nothing should be impossible to you it makes you experience God it makes God's power flow through you and uh, people will see you as God getting breakthrough as God because God is doing it for you and that means when you have the right faith God will work for you as he works for himself you see you experience God in your life in a way that will make everybody know that God is with you when God is with you you enjoy every bit true everything are possible things that are impossible with people will be possible with you when you say amen and uh, you are more than a conqueror and uh, that makes faith a very very crucial in the life of a believer success is tied up with faith and uh, faith is also tied up with the word of God faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God and that means the church that preaches the word of God very important you see even important than enjoying healing will you say amen when you get the word of God in you that your faith in God increases your love for God increases your commitment to do the will of God comes up you are ready to do the will of God you are so determined rain or shine even to offer your life to God if in your defense of God and in your defense of the truth you are even to lose your life you don't care lose your dignity you don't care when you say amen it is when uh, you are getting to that level you love not yourself unto death then a person giving you that message is giving you a message of God and from the scriptures somebody can quote from the scriptures the devil quoted from the scriptures but it was the devil's message to Jesus Christ so the fact that somebody is preaching from the Bible or you go to somebody uh, whether a shrine or a prayer camp uh, a prayer room and he has the Bible on the table and he opens it and he has a cross doesn't mean that he is preaching the word of God you shouldn't be deceived it is what comes out of the mouth any preaching that puts Jesus aside and will not make you believe him and will not make you know that without him you can do nothing if he sets aside the blood of Jesus he sets aside the mind of Christ uh, the uh, faith in Jesus Christ the name of Jesus and uh, talks about faith in God and about Christ he is not concerned about putting your affections on things above but make your life as if life consists in the abundance of things we possess on this earth alone prosperity prosperity without a recourse to do the will of God and uh, you are only to prosper and give you lectures whether economics whether uh, a new method of making you um, uh, become an economic giant or um, uh, have well been in your business and every time business and ideas how you prosper that a church is not a business class it is not a psychology or economic class people who want those businesses to prosper go to Jimba. there are many homes and many places that they teach that how 
Hallelujah. We teach you to have faith in God, to obey God, apply the word of God, and do his will, do his commandments, and by all means, God will prosper you. He will cause prosperity to happen to your life. Will you say amen? And uh, I tell you, brothers, doctrines of devils will always make you combine evil with good. God never lies this. God has never lied that. And any person teaching you um, to live as if sin is nothing, it is because of sin that the world was destroyed in Noah's time. It was because of sin that God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. It is because of sin that this world is going to be destroyed again. It was because of sin that made war come to heaven. Lucifer was created perfect until sin, iniquity was found with him. And iniquity caused commotion in heaven, war, trouble in heaven, no peace. God will never rest until sin is quelled. By all means, evil is going to be destroyed. And nobody should think that when you are with God, sin is nothing. Sin is something. The purpose of God allowing his son to be killed by wicked men possessed by devils is to use his blood to take away sin. Sin demanded that the blood of Jesus be shed and sin demands the blood of the son of God to be able to take away sin forgiveness and to make men perfect that they will be without sin otherwise God will not have given his son up to clean you up to make you live without sin will you say amen are you here with me any church Tolerating that sin is nothing. Any teaching that makes as if sin is your habit and you stay with it, you can't, you want to change, but you can't change. It's not preaching the gospel. When you say amen, sin can be changed, can be quelled. It is God's desire to destroy sin in in his universe and he will do it he will leave no stone on ten until every evil is quelled hallelujah so he is preparing the time to gather all evil and all evil so the evil we see will end one day may the almighty God be a strength to you. All you say amen. And Jesus came to do such that our evil will not have dominion. Sin will not have dominion over God's people. He has brought grace. Grace is sufficient. Can be sufficient for you to live above sin. Let me tell you, doctrines of devils will not promote faith it will always take away faith. It will not always lead you to uh, get committed to God and make available what Jesus did uh, useful to you. The blood of Jesus, the shedding of his blood, and the workings of the Spirit and of the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the Almighty God bless this house. May we flow in the total will of God. And uh, hallelujah. So don't allow your faith to be the faith of devils. That you believe God, but you are not mindful 
of what God desires. His will, His commandments. You are not subject to Him. Faith of devils are those they believe God, they know God is there, they tremble, but they will not obey Him. They will not do His will. They will not do His commandments. Understand this and get yourself out of this life. And uh, your faith, if it's going to be the faith God will use to bless you, it should be a faith that will always fear and uh, do the will of God. Fear and answer to God, His will, His commandments. Fear that keeps the word of God. And that has the word of God settled in you. May the Almighty God bless you. A preaching the word that does not honor faith of men who are committed to God and uh, reduce their commitment to God as useless as nothing should be checked. Should know that this man is preaching nothing but the doctrine of devil. Anybody as I heard and read that Daniel because of his defense and love for God and uh, his readiness faith in God commitment to God and uh, he even defied the order to break with God for 30 days without prayer it means you fear that you go to the lions then because of the law then um, fear has taken faith of God in you and the man was determined to allow his faith continue he still believed and uh, didn't mind what the people could do he kept his faith. He kept his commandment. That wasn't a negative habit. That was a conscious effort to show his commitment to God. A preaching that tells you that Daniel's commitment was a negative habit. is a doctrine of devil aimed at making men not to honor faith, commitment to God. When even it involves uh, taking of their lives. And Daniel was one who will love not himself unto death. He can love God and whether it is death, he doesn't care. He won't allow anything to take him away from God. And such is the life God wants. That is the faith God wants. A preaching and a a teaching that is of the devil will tell you that what Daniel did was a negative habit. He wants to change but he can't change. And that's why the law caught him and he was about to be killed. But the law caught him. But the law could not kill him. Because he had faith. And faith all things are possible. He was behaving like God. He was living like God. Let us check these things. Open our spirit and see and honor men who trust God and will not allow anything to take them away from God. Not even death. Not even the lion's den. To reduce a man who got committed to God so much. You see, to honor God that when you are with God and you do his word, nothing can happen to you. And to reduce him to the level that it was a negative habit. And a, a negative habit, he wanted to die. We shouldn't do that. So nobody should try for when there is a law uh, that we shouldn't serve God. We should all uh, uh, go down and uh, decide that God is nothing. That is the devil speaking. So we have words, doctrines, and preachings that are enticing words of man's wisdom 
and our doctrines of devils did uh, uh, to determine to take you away from having full commitment to God full service full honor to God in faith and in obedience and we should be able to uh, know these things throw them away and uh, see that the devil is speaking to you if you allow such things you write such things into your notebook you are also sick with the same doctrine of devils who we'll say amen then your mind is not mature in righteousness you are not mature in the word of righteousness to discern truth from falsehood this is falsehood this is devil's uh, uh, preaching god bless you for watching hour of restoration you can send us a prayer request through our email on cbiconline at ymail.com. You can also send us a salvation call via our email on cbiconline at ymail.com or through our mailbox AN19638 Accra North. To order for DVDs and audio CDs, contact the following numbers 0243 453068. 0244-406026 or our office line on 0302-413-756. Hour of Restoration, bringing humanity to the stature and fullness of Christ.